The internet offers no shortage of entertainment and education. Dr. Wagner, let's get your take on a couple of videos. And we do want to note this should not replace a medical diagnosis or advice. All right, let's take a look at the first one. 57% of Tommy John surgeries are performed on teens aged 15 to 19, only 25% on older Major League Baseball pitchers, according to a 2015 study in the American Journal of Sports Medicine. Yeah, I think this clip is very interesting. I think it relates back to the idea of sports specialization, where young athletes um, tend to engage in sports year-round. Um, so whether it be playing for their high school team followed by a club season um, that allows them to play um, you know, 12 months out of the year. And this um, really uh, precludes to um, overuse injuries um, as well as injuries in general. And so, you know, our recommendation is, uh, you know, taking time off during the year um, as well as playing multiple different sports um, to really get a diversified, um, you know, well-rounded approach to um, uh, sports and health in general. I get it. You could have a star receiver that's a game changer, get rocked and you're like, hey man, you okay? Get back in the game. Um, but at the same time, if that's your boy, if that's your, your brother, hey man, go get looked at real quick. Yeah, this is another great video. Um, and this, this video discusses, discusses concussion. And concussion is a uh, very high yield topic in, in sports medicine these days. And one of the um, things that I would really like to emphasize on concussion is that not only does it happen you know, during football or hockey, you know, during some of more of the um, full contact activities, but it can also happen in any sport. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a full contact sport. And so really watching for those signs of concussion, so headache, fogginess, um, blurred vision, sensitivity to light and noise. And I think the biggest thing is if you take a blow to the head to really recognize um, those symptoms and say, hey, coach, I'm out. Um, I need to be looked at um, and not stay in the game because that's when we see a lot of the uh, more serious aspects and um, consequences of concussion happen is when players continue to stay in the game. Let's take a look at one more video. Choke up on the bat, baby. Oh, come on, Avery. Choke up. You got it, Avery. Choke up on the bat, Avery. Look at right. That is so sweet. There you go, buddy. There you go. Swing fast. That is so sweet. Uh, that's great. That's a very heartwarming video. My initial reaction to this is um, I think it's about sportsmanship and, uh, you know, everybody kind of helping each other out, um, whether it be at uh, the youth level um, all the way to the professional level. Sportsmanship is, is one of those aspects of sport in general that everybody should practice. Um, and, you know, you may be, you know, on opposing teams, but um, being able to help uh, another person out um, to, you know, help them achieve their goal, um, I think is, is, is very rewarding. And it can uh, make you not only a better uh, athlete, but a better person in general.